Do you see what I see? I think we have to take this thing off that jump. We have to take this giant rocket on the trailer of this Russian Maz off of that cliff. We're gonna do that for the end of the episode. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, this is Scrapman bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and today we are back to part two of the Russian MAZ. And uh, last time we worked on the whole front part and had a lot of trouble with getting the wheels to not be floppy. But this time I have an update on the steering system and we are going to work on the back trailer set system and figure out what we're going to tow around for our ultimate uh, MAZ towing challenge off-road thing. But I'm really, really excited to show you that I actually got, based off of your comments, I looked at a lot of your comments and I actually got this uh, steering system to work and the suspension system to work properly. I'm pretty sure it is actually properly working. First, let's hop in and I'll show you, uh, I'll show you the steering in action. You can see that the steering works fine, just like that. But also, check this out, if I can get out of here. Hold on a sec, get, just get through here. Check this out, I actually have it, it wasn't working before like I thought it was, but now you can see it is definitely, the suspension is definitely working. And I am really happy that I got this to work, like for real, finally. It's stable, it works, it, it turns, it doesn't do any more floppy wheels, so just an update to show you what I actually did here. I simplified it a little bit. And um, basically, I, I, I was adding too many bearings and then at the same time, not enough bearings. So one of the bearings that I was missing were these two bearings right here. In order to actually make the suspension um, articulate side to side on each wheel, uh, those suspension points actually had to be on bearings so that they could uh, change their angle as the wheels went up. As the wheels went up. It works now. Thanks to, thanks to some of your feedback in the comments, as well as some of my own just sticking to it and just experimentations. I think both sides should have it independently. Yeah, it all seems good. So now we're gonna work on the back section here. And uh, one of the things actually Khan mentioned to me that I didn't know that uh, the Russian MAZs, I didn't know that they did this, but they actually have a special type of system in the back in which uh, these wheels actually rotate like this. So they're on like a, a rotating arm, so that way they can wrap around different off-road type uh, bumps and things. So we're gonna have to put that in here as well. And luckily we're not gonna have to do all this stuff because we're not gonna put steering in the back, so we won't have to deal with floppy wheels going back here. So let's start off with that. Let's, uh, let's build that little system first, and then we're gonna work on the uh, tow hook system, and then we're gonna probably spawn something big from the workshop and see if we can tow it around. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do to save myself some trouble is I'm going to mark the area where the wheels actually go. I'm going to do it like this. So that way I don't lose track of all my measurements and stuff. All right, so the center point, I actually need to have the center point because this is going to be the pivot point here as well. So let's go ahead and just mark this. So what I think I can do is just put the arm there. And then using that, I should just be able to extend it in both directions like this and put the wheels back the way that they were. So in theory, that should work, let's see. So my only, um, the only thing about this is I'm worried about it over articulating so it'll like flip all the way around like that. So we're probably gonna have to put a stopper in there somewhere. I don't know how it works on the normal thing, but I think we can do that. So we can probably, we can probably actually just add a little arm there. I think that should actually do it. Let's see, let's see how much of an articulation this has now. So we can go... Is that too much? I feel like that's a little bit too much still. Yeah, we can add this actually in a little bit. All right, how about that? I think that's enough, I think that's enough. Yeah, we can use that for the articulation then. All right, there, so that is our stopping mechanism right there. So now, it won't be able to go past that point. Cool. So let's just do a quick driving test to make sure that it's all going to work uh, well with driving. It looks like, it looks like it's gonna work pretty well. All right, and it's going up the hill. Going up the hill. I think it's working pretty well. 
seems to be working pretty well. All right, now we just gotta do it to the other side, and I think we'll be good. Whoa, this thing tips. All right, and there we have it. We have, uh, I think all of our wheels are now officially in service the way that, kind of the way like a real MAZ works. So before we actually finish up the trailer part, let's do one final ultimate test drive here. Make sure all of our doors are closed. All right, now let's just go straight into like all this stuff and watch it in action. Let's do some action here. I wish I could zoom out a little bit more. Whoop, whoop. Everything seems to be in working order. No glitching going on. No floppy wheels going on. Oh, you can see a graveyard over here of other stuff. <laughs> Ooh, let's use some of these rocks to actually uh, test out our suspension a little bit more thoroughly here. All right, ready? 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 Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. And we'll watch the back wheels. Oh, yeah. 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 That's what I'm talking about. This is feeling good. All right, I'm excited to actually start. Whoa. No problem. No problem. Probably just all that weight we have in the back there. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this thing will tow something. Uh, I'm gonna be curious how I do the, the the how I do the aesthetics in the back. Hopefully we can get it to work pretty well. Uh, it's probably not gonna look exactly like the actual MAZ because the actual MAZ has some weird angle things going on that wouldn't work in a scrap mechanic for towing something. Um, so we're going to figure out what we're gonna do uh, in the meantime though. All right, so we're going to delete this. So what I'm going to do, what my plan is, is I'm actually going to build a trailer. Um, and this is going to have an attached trailer. And then on that trailer, we're going to put something. So I need to figure out what an MAZ trailer, what kind of trailer it, it actually pulls. But first things first, let's actually start building the back here. All right, welcome back. So we have our tow hook section, um, I think pretty much all set. Uh, there wasn't really as much options for detail since this whole entire thing is one block thick. So you don't really have many options to add little details in there, but I added some uh, fake cables and stuff going through um, and I was able, able to actually get it to have this kind of angle thing. 
um, which gives it that more realistic look compared to the real thing. So the way I'm gonna have it work is I'm not gonna have it be an attachable and detachable trailer because that's just gonna, Scrap Mechanic is not gonna handle that very well, especially when it comes to heavy things. It's probably just gonna glitch through most of the time. But, so I'm gonna have it be a weldable trailer that you can weld to this bearing right here. And it should, uh, that should give it everything that we need to work pretty much. What's left is pretty much to build the trailer itself. All right, I found some images of a trailer uh, and it actually looks pretty cool. I hope I can get the dimensions and stuff right. It looks like I might actually use some slightly sw smaller wheels than the MAZ itself. So let's see, we have these wheels. What are the other wheel options that we have with this mod? All right, I think this is gonna be our go-to wheel for the trailer. All right, well, let's get to building the trailer then. I just gotta make sure I get all my dimensions right. It looks like the trailer goes just about as wide as the Maz. All right, there goes nothing.
welcome back ladies and gentlemen. It looks like I think I've pretty much finished it. Um, now last time I checked, uh, there's a reason why I don't have the amount of wheels that I should have because the real trailer that I saw had double wheels and you can see in the time lapse I, I put the double wheels in there and then I took them out and you can see where they're supposed to be. Um, and the reason being is that I was getting like six frames per second. So then when I deleted those extra wheels with those extra suspensions, it brought me up to like 20 frames a second. But I have not tested it since I finished the rest of the trailer. And I also added another bearing in there uh, to help it uh, not only go side to side, but also up and down. Um, so we're going to see what happens when we spawn this in. I hope I get at least like 15 frames. It'll be doable. Uh, anything less than that and we're gonna have a bad time. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go! Whoa, okay. This isn't bad. This is actually way better than I'm expecting it to be. Hold on, maybe if we start driving, because they have that whole bearing, the update when bearings aren't moving. Oh, there we go. Now we're down to 20 frames. All right, let's do a quick, quick gas test. All right. All right, I'm getting like 20, 20 frames. 20 frames is tolerable. Oh boy. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so we now have a trailer. We, I think it looks pretty good too. What do you guys think? So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to spawn in a very large static object, and then we're going to actually put that on the trailer. But let me show you what the trailer does first. I actually gotta hook up some seats here. I mean, not seats, I gotta hook up some switches here. All right, so first, let, let's get a little bit of an overview of the trailer. Um, so it does have only four wheels instead of the normal eight. Here, I can delete these now. Uh, so I think that this tra particular trailer, the, the image that showed up for me when I typed in Russian MAZ trailer, uh, this was the most common design that came up here. So one interesting thing, and I don't understand why or how it works, but um, this section doesn't have like a, a platform. Because I'm assuming because of the way that this is designed here with all these treads and uh, this wedge thing in the middle here that it's supposed to be holding tanks because uh, the treads would go on either side, I'm assuming. But uh, none of the pictures I had had anything over the wheels. So I'm wondering, like, how do the tanks get up and over the wheels? Do they have, like, a, a special attachment that goes on here and gets removed or something? But I built it the way that it was designed. There wasn't anything on top of these wheels, so I'm just going to assume that that's okay. And then it has this mechanical part here that uh, once we get in the seats that I, I think I've hooked it up. Yeah, I th I've hooked it up. So we should be able to press... Oh, should be able to press button two. And they go down. It looks like I may have made them a little bit too... Uh, a little bit too long. Now we're definitely going to have to... Um, we just do that. There we go. That's much better. All right, so you get the, the vehicle gets up on there. And then also we have uh, this this section was a little bit tedious to build, but we got our spare tire on there. Um, in the picture, it has two spare tires, but I couldn't fit two spare tires on here because these tires are really, really big. And we have it hooked up right into there. And it looks like it's doing pretty much perfectly as far as the, the collision stuff goes. It's very, very close, but it is not colliding. So I'm thinking, I'm really proud of this. I'm thinking it's looking pretty good. So next up, I'm going to uh, get something really, really big and static, hopefully. We're gonna weld it, and then we're gonna try to uh, see how well this thing pulls that whatever we happen to weld this thing. Let's go find something in the workshop. All right, so we got a rocket here. I think it's all vanilla, and we're gonna weld this thing. Hopefully it's not gonna cause too much lag. This is by Dragon. Let's go ahead and build it. All right, this looks pretty big. Looks pretty big. All right, so now let's see, how are we gonna weld this thing? So what I think we're gonna do is I'm going to fill this section in since we're not gonna have a vehicle that has like a wheelbase. Uh, we want a decent spot to be able to weld this. So we're gonna fill that in, we're gonna paint it. And what I'm hoping to do, oh no. This is actually really laggy. Something gives me the impression that this is not gonna go well when it comes to welding this thing. All right, moment of truth, here we go. Welding. Oh no. Oh no. Wow, that is an interesting, it, it almost like fits perfectly on there. You know what, I'm gonna go with it. 
we're just gonna roll with it. I have eight frames a second right now, but I I told you we were gonna take something really, really big, and we were gonna drag it around the map and see how this thing performed. So, uh, <laughs> here we go. Russian MAZ with a giant rocket on it. Let's see if we can even go anywhere. And we're steering. We got the gas going. Come on, go, go, go. All right, hey, it's working. Look at the trailer too. We're doing pretty good. I'm trying to see if the trailer is colliding. It might be colliding just a little bit. I think it's colliding just a little bit with the lights there, but that's okay. All right, we are off. We're full speed ahead. And um, I, we're, we're not falling over. We have, we definitely have not as, uh-oh. This thing doesn't have the most ground clearance, does it? I didn't think about the ground clearance part. How do they do it with the real trailers? Because the real trailers don't have ground clearance either. I'm looking at one right now. It Like, it's pretty much like this. I don't think we can get out of this. We're going to have to have a flatter, a flatter area to test this out in. All right, so I guess this is going to be part of the challenge with these really, really low frames as well is, um, choosing our path correctly so that we don't bottom up with our trailer. It's unfortunate that it does that. Actually, what I should be doing is checking the suspension. Ooh, this could help us out. We need to increase the suspension. I'm gonna put these up to like 10. Is that even gonna be enough? It doesn't even look like it's nearly enough. Oh, we're gonna have to do more than 10. Let's go like 15. Wow, this thing is so, it's not on a lift, is it? No, it's, it's not even on a lift. There we go. We got 15 there. Wow, so we have all of these back suspensions on 15 and they're still hardly even holding this thing up. That is that is pretty insane if you ask me. And these ones are on 15 as well, but they're still, they're not fully compressed anymore. So we'll just have to deal with that. But wow, this thing must be pretty heavy. All right, let's get back in our driver's seat and drive along down this pathway here and not try not to bottom out all right here we go but look at how epic this thing looks I'm actually really happy with how this turned out we got the steering to work we got look at the articulation on the suspension in there look at that it turned out really really well so yeah, thanks a lot to ShyFox, my uh, Patreon supporter, for suggesting this build. I think it turned out really, really well. It was really fun to build. If you're interested in supporting the channel on Patreon, then feel free to check out the links in the description. One of the perks for the higher tiers is to uh, is to get your own personal creation made in a creative game. <laughs> I just noticed there's a finger on top of the rocket. That is hilarious. Is that on top of a rocket on top of paper towels? Is that a paper? Those are paper towels. Those are fingers. That's a finger on top of paper towels on the top of this rocket. That is ridiculous. Look, even with all this weight, our steering mechanism, we don't have the floppy tire syndrome. No more floppy tire syndrome. So I'm really proud that that worked. <gasps> Do you see what I see? I think we have to take this thing off that jump. We have to take this giant rocket on the trailer of this Russian Maz off of that cliff. We're gonna do that for the end of the episode. All right, so the big question is, look at this thing in the blueprints. Look at how epic this thing looks. But the big question is, are we even gonna be able to spawn this thing up? Oh, of course it's gonna be sideways. Oh, great. Oh, great. Uh, here we go, here we go. Oh, it's working. It's working. I actually want to see, we, I want to spawn it so we can get a little bit of speed. I'm going to spawn it down the bottom. Actually, do you think? Oh, here's the ultimate test of the uh, of the off-road power, not the off-road power necessarily, but the just the, the towing power of this vehicle. Can we drag the rocket up the hill and then go off the jump? We have to get up this hill though. This is going to be quite the test. I don't know if it's going to work though. What do you guys think? Place your bets now. In the comments, do you think we're gonna be able to pull this rocket up this up this cliff? Up to the cliff? Alright, I'm going, I'm giving it the gas. Come on. You could do it. You could do it. Go, go, go. Alright, I hope we can take this turn without catching our trailer. 
We're just going to go a little bit wide. A little bit wide. There we go. Oh, wow. This is actually kind of nerve-wracking. Despite the low frames, it's still a little bit nerve-wracking. We really got to catch that edge there. All right. Good, good, good. I think we're doing it. I think we're doing it. Yes. It's working. Oh, wait. We're slowing down. It's getting steeper. It's getting steeper. Remember, we have engines on max power right now. I don't know if we're going to make it. We're stopping. No. No. Our wheels are spinning over here. Ah, oh, we're not going to be able to make it. Come on. Come on. Whoa. Something weird happened there. There's some weird stuff going on right now, people. All right, looks like we're stuck again. So unfortunately, our vehicle could not complete the challenge of uh, dragging this giant heavy rocket up this hill. So we're gonna have to uh, just spawn it up there and see if we can actually drag it off the jump. You know what's gonna happen though, is the trailer is gonna get caught on the lip of the jump. And we're probably just gonna be hanging off of it. Like our truck's probably gonna hang off of it and the rocket's still gonna probably be on top of the cliff. That's what I'm thinking is gonna happen. All right, we're at the top, here we go. So I actually really want to point out before we do this, um, Scrap Mechanic has really, they've improved their optimization a lot. Like right now I'm getting 10 frames a second, but once this thing settles down and becomes a stationary object, check this out. Look, now my frames are perfect. I'm at 100 and, 115 frames a second with this thing in my world. So uh, they've really improved the optimization of stationary creations that have a lot of moving parts, but they're not moving. They no longer impact your frames like they did before. So all right, we're going to get in. Now our frames are dropping again because now this is no longer a stationary object. It's no longer stopped moving. All right, and we're giving it the gas. Here we go. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think I'm going to be right? Do you think we're just going to hang off with the rocket keeping us on here because of the trailer bottoming out? Or are we actually going to make the entire thing go off? Here we go. And we're off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's going to happen? Oh, we might actually fall. We might actually fall. How is this happening? I'm gonna screenshot this. That, this is insane. That's the thumbnail right there. <laughs> oh, we actually made it off. I did not expect that. Oh, we're gonna face plant right into the ground. Oh, oh, there goes the leg, even more. And we're upside down. Well, that was a great ending to the episode. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you hit that thumbs up and leave a comment below letting me know what you thought of this. Make sure you check the links down in the description for ways to interact with the channel, join the Discord, check out some merch, become a patron, and let me know what your favorite part of this build was. Did you like the front part? Did you like the trailer? Did you like the steering? What did you like about it? Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye!